we're going to go through GDMT using the ribbon bar in Spatial Analyzer. So I've got my part pulled up that I'm going to use and the first thing I will do is build all of my annotations. So we'll start by clicking on the build menu and we'll tell it that I want to set my datums. So I'll click uh, that we're using CAD faces, tell it that datum A is the top surface, hit the enter button. We'll say that datum B is the back surface, hit the enter button, and we'll say datum C is these two side surfaces. Now let's start to build the, uh, um, the checks that we want to create. So I'll tell it uh, that I want a tolerance of 2000. Let's say we're gonna have it relative to A, B, and C, and we'll do a true position check of this center, or this big circle. So we'll click on that, and we'll see that that has been created on the screen. That annotation has been created on the screen. Uh, let's say we do want to do uh, a maximum material condition. So we'll add an at M for the tolerance. Make sure you have your auto set nominal. Type in the tolerance for the diameter because you're going to need a tolerance for the diameter for the material uh, for the maximum material condition. And we'll say uh, that we want to do a true position of that back circle. It'll build the corresponding diameter annotation for us. And we can see those both are created on the screen. Now let's say we want 2000 relative to A, to a B, and C uh, of a composite true position. So I'll select multiple circles or cylinders. And that annotation has been created. Now let's go ahead and do some surface profiles. So I'll do a surface profile of 2 relative to B of this back surface. And maybe I'll do a 2000 relative to A and B of this top surface. So I've got all my annotations created that I want to use. I'll go into the SA tree bar and we can see all of these annotations have been created. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, let's move those around so that they can be read and we can use this for our report later. So we'll hit uh, drag annotations. We can also add some notes if we like. For example, on this one that is for four circles, uh, which is this uh, composite true position, we can go into the properties of this and maybe we want to put a note above the text that this is four circles. So we'll do four times, hit OK, and we'll now see that that has four times above it. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take those annotations and we're going to turn them into feature checks. So we'll tell it we want to make feature checks. So now we've got uh, our datums broken up from our uh, the things that we're going to check, and we'd want to associate data. Now, if I did have uh, some sort of measuring device hooked up, I could go to the inspection bar, and uh, we could just cycle through all of these features that we want to measure. Um, you'll notice in the feature checks, if I hit only show active feature check, when I go into my toolbar and I click on one of these features, it shows you which one you're trapping to. Um, since I don't have a, a, an instrument hooked up, uh, I'm just going to associate data. So I can, uh, uh, instead of collecting data with a live instrument, I can just say that uh, I want to associate points. I do have some data in here, so we'll show all of those data sets and either from the toolkit I can click on uh, on the feature that I want to measure associate points um, I could use my F2 button to say that uh, it's datum A um, I can see that uh, there's six points measured against that uh, I can do it that way for each one of these features or I can use something called our, our auto filter so I can click on auto filter and I'll tell it that I want to uh, review all checks. So I'll, using my F2 button, I'll select all the points that I have there, click enter, enter through here, 
and we'll see data becomes associated with each one of these feature checks. I can evaluate these. So we'll tell it we want to evaluate all of our checks. And we can see these evaluations have occurred. Some of them have passed, some of them have failed. But we can take all of these feature checks, we can put them into a composite summary table. I'll create an inspection summary table, tell it I want all those checks to go into, into, um, into a report. We'll hide all of our annotations and our point groups. And we'll tell it we want to make a report. So I'll go into reporting. I'll tell it that I want to uh, create a dynamic report. And we can drag that custom table into the report and spit that out. Uh, that's a quick video on how to use annotations and uh, GDNT uh, in the latest version of Spatial Analyzer.